Hi, it's Lori, Armchair Chef. I just got done um, making a video. Somebody mentioned my hair, yeah. I got it trimmed today because I've already cut it twice and I thought I'd let somebody that knows what they're doing do it. And I did dye it. You can see the color a little bit. It's supposed to have been like chrome orchid. Eh, it kind of looks red, but eh. I figured now that I know what my natural color is, I can start dyeing it again. I just wanted to know what my natural color was. Okay, hi, welcome. Um, I've already been reading some comments about on the giveaway about what you guys want to see. And I guess I have to start crocheting more because that's really what you want to see, my horrible crochet. Um, <laughs> I like eating way better. <laughs> I like shopping way better, <laughs> but it's okay. I've got yarn today and I got my two Santa sacks from Lion Brand. So I'm gonna have those and I got a mystery box from somebody that I bought from on Etsy. And I got a winning, I got a prize winning from somebody. So let's get into those. And I just had a blade sitting here. What did I do with it? There it is. Let's start with my mystery bag box. Now this I call her a, a, a child. I don't know how old she is or anything, but I just feel so bad for her because I was her first sale and I'm her only sale because she's giving up already because it's so expensive. She used a large flat rate box, which is like $21 and she said she didn't hardly make anything. So yeah, if you don't do a lot of research, and find out the cheapest ways to do things, you are gonna spend a lot of money. So I'm really fortunate that I got a box from her because I saw the yarn she had and it was really nice. It was all nice yarn. And this one was assorted with wool and notions. She apparently had them all packed already. So she didn't pick it out special for me, but she did give up. So I'm very sad for that. Um, that's one of the reasons I want to put out the videos that I want to put out about the Etsy and how I do it and the way I find to do it, the, the cheapest ways I find to do it. Now, I did mail something out and I screwed up. I sent it to the address that was in Etsy. Well, she had, the person had sent me an email to my email, not, not through Etsy, and said that she needed to change the address and okay yeah but I didn't make that notation somewhere before I mailed it so I mailed it to the old address that she had and um, she she messaged me freaking out and I'm like okay hang on hang on I'll take a look so because there was tracking on it it was sent retail ground but there was still tracking on it I was able to get it, the delivery changed, and I had it returned to sender. So it's going to come back to me tomorrow. So if this ever happens to you and you have tracking on an item, you can go in as the addressee and have that changed. I couldn't, there's no way I could have explained to her to go in and do that. So I went in as her and had it return to me so I'm gonna get it back and I'm gonna resend it to her I've already sent her something now in the meantime because I felt so bad that I screwed up so um, yeah just so you know if you have tracking on anything you can I always at work I say nothing's fatal everything can be fixed one way or another so because there was tracking this could be fixed if there was no tracking it would have come back to me eventually but I would have had to wait until August when it was returned to sender. But this way I was able to uh, tell them what I wanted done with it. So um, yeah, almost nothing's fatal. So let's see, we have, this looks like one of those Lovecraft bags. This must be some notions. So let me put that aside. And okay, there's a card and I have some cupcakes looks like threes these are lion brand cupcakes in a flower patch 
this is nice this is um 590 yards oh let me turn my light on i always forget sorry about that okay the cut it's just you can see better the colors of stuff when i do that isn't that pretty this is pretty it's a three and i do have something over here to put things in and i did get three of those very nice that will be it's acrylic and um, almost 1700 yards awesome oh look at this there's some Hanks in here knit crate Hanks oh look at this it's a chunk it says it's a chunk look how chunky this is <laughs> <laughs> how cute does it have a name it says knititude knit yeah, knititude chonk shiraz shiraz in the city is that a shiraz in the city maybe there's some joke there okay got two of those that's beautiful I like Nick Creek. I love the, the names they put on their stuff. Now there's a bunch of bonbons. Oh, they're little. It's a yarn bee thing. I've never gotten one of these. Um, City Girl. This is cool. Is this like to make a scarf or something? That I, I did make one once with that paint box I got. This is very cool. I guess the color City Girl and... This would be crochet hook 3.25. So this is probably a two. Very cute, very small. And there is some wool. Is this wool hometown? No, it's acrylic and rayon. Oh, I love hometown. Which town is this? Key Largo. Tweed. It's kind of a blue with some splashes of color in it. I love this. She had, I saw the yarn she had on her bed that she took the picture and I liked it. And she didn't have one sale, so I thought, oh, I'll buy it. I see what the yarn is, so I'm going to go ahead and buy it. None of it was junk. And yeah, I feel bad. So she said she only made like, oh, what is this? $15 on the sale. What is this? Nitpicks interchangeable cables. Anybody know what that is? Is that like to put your knitting on? There's a little pokey thing here with it, I think. Is that that goes in here? Did that come out? Smooth joints, perfect points, flexible cables. Yeah, I'm guessing this is needles. Okay, I'm gonna knitting. I'm gonna put this back in here. And actually, this got delivered to the wrong place by my mailman, or somebody picked it up from my door because um, when I got it, it was opened. It wasn't here like it was supposed to be, and it was open. So it's very possible somebody got into this, took something or whatever, because it had been opened and resealed. I filed a complaint. I filed a complaint at my post office that they didn't put it in a locker because it was perfect size to fit in a locker and they didn't use a locker. And subsequently it got taken and opened if he didn't give it to the right house. So I don't know what else was in here, if there was anything else in here, because it does look like somebody opened it and went through it. So I have a bag of notions and they appear to be buttons. Oh my gosh, it's beautiful. Oh wow, look at these, look at these buttons. Look at how beautiful these are. Wow. These are gorgeous. Look at those buttons. Beautiful. There's like one, two, three, four, eight of these big ones. They look like they're about the same. That's beautiful. 
and there's a couple crochet hooks oh look look at this wood that's beautiful that is beautiful don't know what size this one would be a 5.5 .5. Susan Bates, and then this one is that that painted. It's got that pointy thing on the end. Not sure that's m meant for something. So, let me see. and there's some more buttons. Yeah, there could be some stuff missing. I got a little bag here with nothing in it. It's okay, you know. The little doggy stitch marker was probably in the bag. Maybe a kid got it and opened it up and took a look at everything. Very cute. See, a grown up probably would put everything back, not even take it out in the first place. So, yeah, it's very sad. So that's what you get for apartment life. You know, your mailman is either stupid and doesn't use the locker or doesn't put it in your patio and just leaves it at the door and then somebody comes and takes it or they put it at the wrong apartment again like they've done before <sighs> it's just infuriating so my girlfriend always has me sign for stuff look at these this is beautiful look at these buttons gorgeous it's a bunch of these beautiful okay well i'm gonna have to send her a thank you for this and um maybe i'll have her watch the video to see if anything's missing but there might be no point in that because you know we can't do anything about it if there's something missing so maybe i may, maybe i won't even say anything but i'm going to reuse the box i need the box <laughs> i've got a bunch of stuff to mail tonight so i need these boxes i don't know if i'm going to use this one though because it's 20 bucks to mail with this one and i don't know if i want to spend that much depends if somebody lives really far away i might have to spend a lot so i might use that box anyway okay here's my winnings from Lulu, Lulu's treasure trove. And I think this was pom-pom yarn. Because I got this and then I, because I was going through my emails and I hadn't got responses from some of them that, that I sent an email to, so I asked them about it. And she said, well, it says it was already received. I said, oh, it probably was. <laughs> I just went through my emails to see if I, you know, because I always respond so the person knows they got, got me. They got the right email that went out to so otherwise i don't know if you got my email if you don't respond so anyway that that's just me some people are really big and they have big channels and they don't they can't do that they don't have enough time to do that i have a lot of time on my hands oh it's pom-pom yarn i love it i don't have these colors because I went on this website and bought a whole bunch, but I don't have these. These are really pretty because I am definitely going to do a project with the Pompadour. I just have to figure out which colors. Really cool. I love this. What color is this? Quirky. Okay. Or eccentric. <laughs> eccentric or peculiar. <laughs> which language is that in? Peculiar. <laughs> quirky pe pe peculiar <laughs> okay. that's wonderful oh wait there's a it's a paper oh it's a note um she says thank you for being part of the family okay thank you cindy and that's lulu's treasures and I still watch all, I watch everybody's stuff. I just don't always get to respond because I'm on my TV watching it. So let me put that over here. And now for the big moment. Oops, sorry, Cujo. <laughs> he doesn't like that. Lion Brands, Santa Bags. I made two orders because they said you can only order one. Okay, so I didn't buy three at one time. I didn't buy two at one time. I made two orders because there was two things in clearance that I wanted. So I bought one Santa sack with one thing and one Santa sack with the other thing. Because if the shipping was really, really expensive, I would have just bought two at one, bought it all at one time. Okay, let's see what we got. I've been watching everybody else open theirs. 
and I need these boxes too. I haven't got my shipment yet of my boxes. And I need to send some stuff out tomorrow. Okay, they had... Okay, good. It was packed really well. A little clearance. I saw... I, I'm bad with the names because I watched so many videos, but I saw somebody get three different bags. Three different bags. And that's okay. I don't want no old baby. Except it's cotton and I can give it to somebody. Because I'm running out of cotton, actually. So maybe I should get some more Lion Brand mystery bags so I can get restocked my old baby. That seems to be all they ever send. Alrighty. I do have a lot of Doris yarn. A lot of that blue. I was just looking in my room to see what's in there. I'm sorry, baby. I'm sorry. They're just popping. Lion Brand coffee mug. Yes, for my collection. Crystal was just talking about collections today, and that's exactly what I do. I'm exactly the same, except I never feel complete. It doesn't matter what I buy. <laughs> it's always... I move on to something else. <laughs> I have a stack for painting. I have my fishing in the corner. Um, I save wood in case I want to make something with wood. I rebuilt my table. Yeah, I I lose interest really quick, but it's okay. That is nice. I like my Lion Brand coffee mug. Okay, now let's take that out. Well, let me put that box over here and I'm going to open the other one and get my other clearance thing and then I'll open both the Santa sacks. And what I wanted was a color wheel. I have seen somebody use this and this would be very cool because I have so many solid colors of yarn that I actually... Look at this. Look what I did today. I put every... Oh, jeez. I put everything inside bags. All that stuff that's been sitting on the shelves. Each color I had on a shelf. I had two colors on a shelf, and I just put each one in its own bag. There's the yellows and the browns. There's, uh... Let's see, some red, some blue, some purple, some orange. So, yep. I just did that and then I restocked my cakes because I've been giving those away and so I restocked the cakes over here and then I have this little shelf over here of stuff that I've been buying my flurries is gone there I'm trying not to put well a lot of the stuff out here was just the red heart and stuff so I would not really giving that to anybody because I have so much nicer yarn um, unless they request something so, yeah, I've got all the cakes are over there on that one. So, I just took, emptied out, I emptied out, like, what, four or five bags, and I just filled up four or five bags. But they're on the shelves now, in bags, which I like much better. Because then they don't fall off, there's no dust, you know, all that kind of stuff. I like that much better. So, and if I have an emergency and have to leave, everything's in a bag. Okay, now the moment of truth. Let's get these suckers open. Let's see what we got. Already, I like it. Ice cream. Oh, look, I got the gray and yellow one. Oh my gosh. I love this. Divigation. It's called Bit of Honey. And I know somebody got this because I remember hearing somebody say that. Bit of honey. Oh, look at that. I love the colors. This would be 437 yards in a four. That's a lot of yard. 1,200 yards in a four. That's a lot. I got some. Oh, baby. What did I get? Silver. I don't have. Oh, no. <gasps> It's not oh baby, it's Nubu. Everybody's getting Nubu. This would be 100% Lyocell. Hmm. Eco friendly. 
production of fabric made from plants leads the fiber industry in terms of energy and water conversation con conservation okay then this would be a four that's an awful that's an awful skinny four but it's called frost and I'm sure I've seen other people with this one And the last one would be, let's see, it's cotton. Which color is it? <gasps> oh, look at that one. Isn't that pretty? Let's see if you can get the colors on that. There we go. That's more of the colors. A little black, yellow, orange. Oh my gosh. I don't have any of this one. This is really pretty. Definitely fall colors. This is 392 yards times three, almost 1,200 yards thousand yards three six nine about eleven 1, hundred yards it's a three and what color is this chai latte i've heard somebody got this i got the same bag as somebody else <laughs> so i didn't get the same bag as me but somebody else okay let's see what's in the other one and i have a santa sack so let's get that put away all right, let's see what's in this one. Okay, there's some eyes. Same color, bit of honey, that's good. I like that color. And if that's a four, that's a, that's a, that's a good quantity for that. People have been wanting me to crochet, so I have to start crocheting. Thank you very much for requesting that. And that's not total sarcasm, only a, only a little bit. I have some projects, I really do, and they do need to be finished. I was gonna do that this month, but... Okay, let's see if this is Nubu. Nubu Silver, looks like I've got the same bag. And is this the same cotton? Yep. Okay, I got two of the same bags, but that is perfectly fine. That is perfectly fine. Beautiful. Just twice as much to give away. <laughs> Alrighty then. Okay. That was all I was going to do right now because that is the yarn haul. And I needed those boxes, so I've got them. And I did organize a lot of stuff. I found out I have seven furls hooks. And they're all imperfect. Or the wooden ones aren't imperfect. There's two wooden ones, they're not imperfect. They were on sale. I think they were buy one, get one free. I got the wooden ones when they were buy one, get one free. Then I got five um, imperfect hooks. I wanted some cookies and cream. I just went today to look. They were all gone. So I wrote down what I have so I can go look every once in a while and see what they have. So, okay. That's it. Everybody's uh, ready for their nap. I'm not supposed to be home right now. I'm usually at work, but it's my day off. So, um, that's it. Thanks for watching and watching my Lion Brand haul and my mystery box. Oh, I didn't say it. Mystery Yarn Madness. And I will put, I, I, I'll mention her in the thing, but she closed her store. I just, I, I feel terrible for that. So, because it is, it's very difficult to do it. It's very difficult. So, okay. Thanks for watching. Bye.